Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about system noise temperature as well as G by T ratio. Okay. So G by T is nothing but we have already seen in the previous sessions like gain by temperature. Okay. So coming to the system noise temperature, the noise temperature provides a way of determining how much thermal noise is generated by active and passive devices in the receiving system okay so severally at a microwave frequency a black body with physical temperatures like uh, tp uh, with respect to degrees in kelvin and uh, generate electrical noise over a wide bandwidth okay so this particular noise power is given by pn is equal to k into tn into b then what is pn pn is nothing but the noise power okay so let's see what is k what is tn and what is b so b is the noise bandwidth in which the noise power is measured in hertz okay as bandwidth we all know we consider it in frequencies okay so the noise bandwidth b in which the noise power is measured in hertz and k is the boltzmann constant which is given by 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joules per kelvin okay so it, it be, with respect to db we can consider it as minus 228.6 db watts per kilowatts per hertz okay where tn is the noise temperature of source in k okay now how they are calculating this particular system noise temperature means initially they are considering t in okay temperature with respect to input okay and they are adding a summation of t rf okay so rf is nothing but the radio frequency uh, signal with respect to the temperature and these two with the help of summation they get combined and it is given to an gain okay so here what's happening the noiseless rf amplifier is uh, working over here and using a noiseless rf amplifier we are able to gain uh, get the gain okay which is denoted by grf okay so this particular grf is again is added with one more temperature with respect to m okay so m means mixer okay so here the gain rf as well as the temperature with uh, tm okay got summation over here and it is given to a noiseless mixture again here as the gain grf as well as the tm has been combined we are getting an uh, gain gm okay with respect to uh, gain mixer uh, from the as an output of noiseless mixture again now here what's happening the gain gm is combined with the temperature of intermediate frequency the intermediate frequency with respect to temperature got combined here and it is given as a gain to the noiseless intermediate frequency amplifier so through noiseless intermediate frequency amplifier we are getting a gain with respect to intermediate frequency that we are considering it as pn then what is pn pn we have already said pn is nothing but the noise power this is how the noise power is calculated pn is equal to k into tn into b okay where k is the boltzmann's constant tn is the noise temperature of the source okay and b is the noise bandwidth in which noise power is measured in hertz okay and this is how the summation where goes with respect to the rf signal with respect to the mixer and the, with respect to the intermediate frequency in every step okay we can produce gain okay equivalent noise sources is determined in this way okay so on the whole based on this particular uh, pm noise power pn okay k and tn with uh, b noise bandwidth and considering this tin trf grf gm tm tif gif all these parameters we are writing one equation okay so with respect to this particular equation pn is equal to gif into gm into grf okay whole of k t k into 
T intermediate frequency, listen carefully, K into T intermediate frequency, B of N by GRF into GM plus KTM BN by GRF plus TRF plus T in. We have already seen all these parameters. Temperature gain with respect to uh, radio frequencies, mixers as well as intermediate frequency. Okay. So this can be much more simplified taking that particular thing as common. Okay. So how we can write? So GAF, GM into GRF. Okay. So into KBN into whole of TRF plus TIN plus TM by GRF plus TIF by GRF into GM. This is the simplified equation of PN, where PN is the noise power. Okay, so noise power is given by PN. Okay, so if you substitute all the uh, summations with respect to RF, M, and IF, we'll be getting an equation like this. Okay, so this is with respect to uh, uh, system noise temperature. Okay, now coming to the G by T ratio. So the G by T ratio of earth station is nothing but okay. So C by N, the link equation can be rewritten with respect to C by N, where C by N is nothing but the carrier to noise ratio. Okay. So carrier to noise ratio with respect to the earth station is given by C by N is equal to PT GT GR by KTS BN into okay. Lambda by 4 pi r whole square, which can be again written as PTGT by KBN into lambda by 4 pi r whole square into GR by TS. This is nothing but the uh, link equation with respect to carrier to noise ratio. Okay. So, this is the uh, main equation you need to understand. So, gain by temperature with respect to carrier to noise ratio can be written like this. Okay. So we have already known what is PT, what is GT. Okay. If you don't know what is this gain and power transmission or this particular uh, uh, short forms. Okay. Go to the previous uh, transmission theory concept and you will be able to understand it very nicely. Okay. So this is the whole concept with respect to system to noise temperature as well as G by T ratio.